President Park Geun-hye enters her fourth year in office on Thursday. To mark the occasion, we are broadcasting a series of reports this week about her successes and failures and look at what might be in store going forward. Third in our series of five reports is the President's handling of security and defence-related matters. Kim Hyun-bin reports. Since the start of her term in office, President Park has had to handle a continuous stream of threats from North Korea. The most recent being Pyongyang's fourth nuclear test, its firing of a long-range missile, and the planting of landmines in the demilitarized zone that badly injured two South Korean soldiers. Some analysts say the president's handling of these tense incidents has left a strong impression. The Park administration has always responded sternly to North Korea's provocations, diffusing further escalation, even getting close to an apology from the North for last August's mine. But the real test is how her administration will enhance its defense structure for the remainder of her term to better counter the regime's threats, including its nuclear capabilities. Pyongyang has been enhancing its ballistic missile and nuclear capabilities. In order to combat this growing threat, Seoul decided to address the possibility of deploying the U.S. Terminal High Altitude Area Defense to the peninsula. Prior to the regime's missile test in early this month, the Korean government had been adhering to a so-called no principle on the issue, as in no request, no consultation, no decision. The government has since backed off its three no policy and has instead shifted its focus to put national interest at the forefront. The sudden change garnered controversy. The government should have made it clear from the start that the deployment of THAAD would be decided upon based on national interest. With an unpredictable neighbor looming just north of the border, there are many issues and tasks President Park needs to address during the remainder of her time in office. We need to be able to promptly respond to any forms of provocation from the North and adapt our strategy, equipment and systems. Our military needs to strongly back up the government's North Korea policy and try to change the regime's views while strongly countering any threats. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.